Hello, all. D Swank here. I am in Starfield. Why am I in Starfield? Because you can build ships in it. This is the ship I've built. I'll do a quick tour of it. And I'm going to ask at the beginning here, would me putting together a playthrough of Starfield be interesting to you all? Because I'll do it. But, eh, I mean, new stuff, but I don't know if that's something people would find interesting. I enjoyed the game, but I bought the game and went into it knowing it was a Bethesda title. If you don't know that and you're... If, if you've never played a Bethesda game, I'll give you some leeway. If you've played a Bethesda game in the past, from Oblivion forward... And you are stunned by what this game is. You deserve to be beaten among the head and shoulders with a bat. People are stupid if they don't expect the game to be a Bethesda game. It's a Bethesda game. But, taking that in mind, I have enjoyed it. Quite a bit. I am running on on a system that meets the minimum specifications, and that has meant that roughly every three to four hours, the game crashes. Oh no. I'm running on the minimum specifications. It doesn't surprise me. Um, I have hit some things that I don't like particularly. The main story quest is rather boring. The side quests are quite enjoyable. Uh, the NPC quests are fun. Um, my, uh, I am at the end of the main story quest. Uh, I just wish I've gotten all the artifacts and I want to hit all the temples before I finish the main storyline. To fin hit the main temples, I gotta hit level 40, I mean 52. I'm level 43 right now. Why I need hit 52 is this is the best jump drive in the game. However, when you have a skill, this is over here, starship design, you can get up to Mark IV experimental blocks. Well, you don't get the Mark IV experimental or whatever the best version of this jump drive is until level 52. I have enough money. I have 160 some odd thousand muns. So I have enough to practically build this ship all over again. And I'm going to go inside and explore it and talk about some things. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's a Bethesda game. If you weren't, ex if you were expecting anything more than a Bethesda game, that's, that's on you. We've had, what, Oblivion, Fallout 3, New Vegas doesn't count because that was a different company, um, Skyrim, 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 and Skyrim. Um, Fallout 76, Fallout 4, and now Starfield. If you didn't realize that Starfield was going to be like all those other games, then I, I, I question whether you should be allowed to play games. Or at least make review comments. Now, I haven't... Shut up, Sarah. I haven't installed any mods on this playthrough. I hate some of the ladders, uh, the way ladders and doors work in building the ship. What I'd love is if they gave me like a little gun that I could go, this ladder, I want to move it 
here, because this is a point, like, or here, I mean, I actually like where this ladder is specifically, but, um, where's the door? The door is over here. I do not like the door here. I want the door here. Right. I also am very disappointed with this cargo hold. It doesn't increase the cargo capacity of my ship. It's just a big empty room. And it, that's somewhat disappointing. These hallways are nice. I have crew bunks on each side. I wish I could go again with that little laser thing. Say, yes, I want a door here. Or a door here. Because I think having a door into your crew compartments would be nice. This is another one. This side is actually better because the bathroom is hidden around the corner. This one, not so much because it's right there. Wait a minute. It, are my two wings off? I don't think. No, no, no. They're not off. Okay. So, we got the crew quarters. Now, this is a work bay, engineering bay sort of thing. It's got workbenches, spacesuit, industrial, and your research facility. Which is kind of nice. And you get to place windows in places. I probably should look at putting a window on the those. I'll probably do that, showing off some of the construction stuff, but hell, if you're a Starfield fanatic and you've clicked on this and you haven't seen how the construction in this works and haven't played it, uh, what are you doing? This is weapon mounting. I haven't put my weapons up because every time you construct a ship, things all get sh stuffed into the storage and this I actually kind of like the infirmary I like the way it looks um, you've got lockers and all sorts of stuff that you can store things in you've got a pharmaceutical lab and another research um, how do I go up oh yeah it's right here now I kind of like this, and I kind of don't like this. Um, and I, I'm, I'm mixed on whether the door should have been here or that. It, the, the layout's not too bad. It's somewhat organic. So we have like a computer core, which I like. Ooh, I've never noticed this. Okay. Yep. Chunky. And we've got... Kind of a machinery bay. Not really a whole lot here. Open this up. We've got another... Uh, machinery bay. I didn't realize I had two of these when I built it. come from here and I do this because I've uh, jumping is better for me than others Ugh. look Andrea why are you in my room this is the captain's quarters we've got shield generator we've got windows and then We've got the bridge, and I love this bridge. You've got this huge view, jump seats, captain's locker, um, cargo hold, the Amarelli screen, which I've pulled the Amarelli down 
so I can jump around. I enable that, I go into hyperspace, and things happen. Uh, I did that because supposedly we get attacked more piloting the ship, and it didn't really happen. So, that sucked. Anyway, this is the look of the ship. So, this is my ship. Uh, if people like this, if people like getting a ship tour, I'll go ahead and refine this a little more and do that with other ships that I have, other ships that I build. And we'll just see how this goes. Um, I'm not sure if this is something people will like. Uh, if you have, go ahead, comment, like, do all the YouTube shit, and I will see you next time. Until then, bye bye